Hey, it's Joe Lyons from the Automator, and in this video, I'm going to show you a little cool thing that Directory Opus has just added to its tool based on some feedback from me. And this is one of the things I love. By the way, the, the link above, it's it's my link, but I'll take you to Directory Opus's website just because their domain doesn't match the Opus. I, I didn't, haven't asked them about that yet, but I'm sure there's a long story. Anyway, let me demonstrate here first with Explorer. As I've said before, my taskbar is on the right, and I have a video on this if you're interested. It saves a ton of space because down below you can only see so much and we only have so much height you know we have a lot more width and so i don't understand why the default is here especially with windows 11 so far you can't move it to the side and i have no interest in switching if i can't have this on the side because it really saves a lot of space anyway let's get back on topic here so notice if i click this th these are all folders these are shortcuts to folders that i've given an icon to my shortcut right now this temp one Oh, that's, and so now it's opening with directory opus because it's now my default browser, you know, file browser. And notice here how it says temp, right? So let me open the Windows E, and this is because when I open here and well, I'll just type the address C colon slash temp. Uh, notice here also we have this skull icon. Now, if I was on a different folder, it's just going to have this default you know, folder. And what I like to do is now, unfortunately, if you just change the shortcut to it, that doesn't work. What you have to do is come in here and let's say if my FFmpeg, uh, I wanted to change this icon. So I'm going to right click on it, go to properties and say customize and change icon. And here I would pick an icon for this purpose. I'm just going to pick, it doesn't matter, uh, hit apply and okay. And now, now actually with Explorer, I bet... I bet Opus will do it right away. Uh, however, Explorer, often I have to close it and restart it. But let's uh, let's jump to that folder. I think I can paste it here. And notice it's picking up that here. And what's really, really convenient about this is when you have a bunch of them, this makes it very easy. Like if I have multiple things open here, it makes it very easy for me to jump between these two. It's I don't have to figure out and read, I can use that icon, right? So it's really, really helpful. Uh, if this is something you're interested in, what you can do is come into Opus, go to settings, preferences. What I did, this is the this is such a great tool. You can type down here, let's see, I think I said like folder icon, folder icon. And, oh, look, use current folders icon and check this out. If you turn this off and hit apply, it turns it off dynamically and turn it back on so you can see so easily. I don't have to go apply, close, don't like it. It's right there. So it's a very quick, easy tool. This, this sounds like a silly thing, but you know, first off, these are my shortcuts to my folders, which is great because I, I know just by looking at them, I don't have to mouse over and look for the words, right? I can get, what is that? A five, one, two, three, four, five by four. There's 20 icons right there. And I could easily fit, you know, another couple rows and have almost every folder that I use frequently. So it's a great, simple way. That That's the first one. It's just creating these shortcuts with icons. But going in and doing like I did here, where you apply the icon to the folder as well. I think actually if I had first, let's, let's see here, let's do this. If I drag this, oops, if I drag this to here and create a shortcut, yeah, it will. So if you go and do that first, you don't have to do the second step of creating a uh, icon for your folder and the shortcut if you do it here it'll automatically inherit that icon when you do that so that'll save you a step uh, i didn't do that with all of these so some of these when i open them up it, it'll open them but it doesn't have like that see that still it doesn't have like the eye which it did down here right so i should go through and follow through next time i'll go through and you know set them all on my hard drive first and then bring them in and it's just a way to uh, really work faster and work smarter not harder hope that helps cheers